When you think of great NBA centers, you automatically notice their height. Kareem, 7 foot 2, Wilt, 7 foot 1, Shaq, 7 foot 1. Having a great height is almost a necessity for centers. But what if I told you that one of the greatest centers in NBA history was listed at just 6 foot 7? A center who for his career averaged 14 rebounds per game and for 5 seasons averaged more than 15 rebounds per game. Hey guys, this is Purple Prince and today we'll look back at the career of the wide U, the shortest NBA center of all time, Wes Unseld. Wes Unseld was born on March 14, 1946 in Louisville, Kentucky. After a successful basketball career in high school, which landed him two Kentucky State Championships, Unseld was recruited by over 100 colleges. The coach of the University of Kentucky, Adolph Rupp, offered him a basketball scholarship, making Wes Unseld the first African-American athlete to be offered a scholarship to a school. In the end though, Wes Unseld decided to go with the University of Louisville. At first, he played for school's freshman team averaging 35.8 points and 23.6 rebounds over 14 games. Then moved on to the Louisville Cardinals team and in three years there averaged 20.6 points and 18.9 rebounds. He led the Missouri Valley Conference in rebounding all three years. After college, Unsold was drafted in the ABA by the Kentucky Colonels and was the second overall pick by the Baltimore Bullets in the 1968 NBA draft. He decided to go with the NBA and in his first game recorded 8 points and 22 rebounds. He ended his whole rookie season playing all 82 games and averaging 13.8 points and 18.2 rebounds. More importantly, he helped Baltimore Bullets become a winning team. Before Unseld arrived, Baltimore was dead last in their Eastern Division, but thanks to Unseld's great rookie year, the team improved to 57 wins and the division title. Unseld himself was an all-star in his first year, won the Rookie of the Year award and MVP, becoming only the second player ever along with Will Chamberlain to win both awards in the same year. Unfortunately, the playoffs were a different story. Unseld averaged 18.8 points and 18.5 rebounds, but his team was quickly swept by the New York Knicks in the first round. Next season, Unseld returned with the best scoring output of his career by averaging 16.2 points and just a year later, he went to his first NBA Finals against the Milwaukee Bucks. Wes held his end of the bargain by averaging 15 points and 19 rebounds, but Kareem, along with Oscar Robertson, was just too much. Kareem averaged 27 points and 18.5 rebounds and the Bucks swept the Bullets in the Finals. The YDU was always amongst top 5 rebounders in the league, even though his height was just 6 foot 7 and it wasn't easy battling against Kareem and Wilt who were a solid 6-7 inches taller. Unsold was listed at 6-7, but after he retired, he admitted that he actually had been just a hair under 6-6 all along. I know that night in and night out the guy I play against will have more physical ability, but I feel like if I go out against the guy and play him 40 or 48 minutes a game or whatever, toe to toe, head to head, he's going to get tired or beat up or bored for 2 or 3 minutes. That will be enough to make sure he doesn't win the game for his team. After an unsuccessful season in 1971-72, Bullets added Big Elvin Hayes. Hayes was a great addition to the team and perfectly complemented Unsold's blue collar work. Before the 73-74 season, the Bullets franchise moved to Washington and for a year was renamed to Capital Bullets. Having a second dominant rebounder like Elvin Hayes came especially handy during that 73-74 season, when the usually ready Wes Unseld had to miss 26 games because of surgery on his left knee. He wasn't right the whole season and needed some time to come back to full force. He ended up averaging just 5.9 points and 9.2 rebounds, both the lowest marks of his career. Unsold literally rebounded back to his all-star form next season by averaging the league-leading 14.8 rebounds per game. By now, his scoring had diminished but Unsold became even more valuable to the team. His rebounding was back to normal but what he lacked in scoring, he compensated with assists. During the 1975-76 season, Wes Unsold averaged 5.2 assists which ranked just outside of the league's top 10. Wes Unsold's greatest moment came in 1978. The Washington Bullets, as they were now called, finished the regular season with a modest 44 wins, but in the playoffs, they rolled over Atlanta, San Antonio and Philadelphia to reach the NBA Finals. 
In a hard seven-game series against the Seattle Supersonics, the Washington Bullets prevailed and won the NBA championship. Wes Unseld was named the Finals MVP. Next season, the Bullets once again reached the NBA Finals, again versus the Seattle Supersonics, but this time lost in a five-game series against a team with no superstars. I have a specially dedicated video to that Seattle team, so make sure you browse it on my channel and watch it after this one. As his career was waning down, Unseld and his wife Connie became more involved in elementary education and in 1979 opened a co-ed private school called Unseld School with a daycare program, nursery school and a kindergarten to 8th grade curriculum. Back in the NBA, Wes Unseld played his last two seasons for the Washington Bullets with the final season coming in 1981. After 13 seasons with the Bullets and 12 playoff appearances, Unsell decided to retire from basketball because of his aching knees that had become a problem during his final playing years. Wes Unsell finished his NBA career with 984 games played, an average of 10.8 points and 14 rebounds. He also averaged 3.9 assists, which was one trade that always went under-noticed. He was a great passer for a center. Wes Unseld is currently number 12 on the all-time rebounding list, above other great players like Hakeem Olajuwon, Shaquille O'Neal and Charles Barkley. He also was a 5-time NBA All-Star. Right after his playing career was over, Wes Unseld moved into a front office position with the Bullets, serving as the vice president for 6 years. In 1988, Wes Unseld was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. He tried to convert his greatness as a player into a head coach of the Bullets, but left the position with average results. As a head coach, Wes Unseld had a record of 202 wins and 345 losses. Now, he just enjoys life and works on his passion in helping children become as great as he was, and still is. Ladies and gentlemen, the shortest NBA center of all time, a Hall of Famer, Wes Unseld. Thanks for watching the video guys, do you have any memories of him playing and what do you think of his NBA career? How good was he really? Please leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Don't forget to slap a thumbs up for this video and click on that subscribe button to not miss upcoming content. Thanks. This is Purple Prince and I'm out.